So my audience is directed more towards Brazilians and Emma. Yeah. So yeah, my name is Emma. I'm from the UK. If you're not able to tell by my accent, it's slightly different. <laughs> um, but I focus on pronunciation. I mean, of course, I also teach grammar as well from time to time if it's like a requested topic. But I focus mostly on pronunciation and accent reduction. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. And, you know, quite a lot of people uh, seem to mistake my page for like a vocabulary page. So they're like, why do you have such easy words on your page? I'm like, that's because people are still mispronouncing them. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. So yeah, but I'm also learning Portuguese. I, I speak Spanish already, which is a blessing and a curse when learning Portuguese. <laughs> so yeah, but it's still very basic. Um, okay, cool. I can have a very basic conversation now, but <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I know so far. And at the end, uh, I'll put up your, <laughs> I was like, she's on so, top of her game. <laughs> so for people who don't know what we're going to do today, if you're joining late or if you missed the, um, if you missed the adverts for this live, we're going to be talking about the differences between British English pronunciation and American English pronunciation. I'm going to be using a kind of standard way of pronouncing it. Um, and I guess that you're also going to use a kind of standard American form, no accent yes. or anything like yes. that. Yeah. So like standard British and standard American pronunciation. There are no accent varieties here. Um, so the first one I have, I'm going to write it in the comments and then, yeah, if you can say it first, how you would say it, and then I'm going to say it afterwards okay okay perfect and so, um, so i would say it advertisement okay so you would say ad how would you say it where's the stress uh, advertisement advertisement i see because i've i've heard advertisement i've heard like the stress in different ways in the uk we would say advertisement Advertisements. Oh, it's quite different. It's... How about this one? This is more a difference with the vowel. Yes. Bald. How would you say it? Bald. 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 Yeah. Do you say like an ah uh, bald? Bald. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yes. It's like an ah. Uh, yeah. Well, we would say it like or oh, bald. 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 So, um, whenever. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> You're one step closer to being British. <laughs> it's awesome. When, um, so in British English, guys, whenever we have this or sound, in American, they would replace it with this ah uh, sound. I can't really do it very well, but. <laughs> bald, bald, <Yeah>. bald. bald. <laughs> the next one is this. I'm guessing it's a French word. Um, but yes, how would you pronounce this one? Uh, click. See, we would say click. Click. A click, yeah. But I have heard click as well. But I think we've stolen that from like American TV. <laughs> oh, all right. You know, I, I can imagine. We have a lot of American cartoons in the UK. So growing up, I think I watched like only American cartoons. That's so crazy. yeah, my generation is just like so Americanized sometimes. And yeah, we would say things like click. There's another one a little bit further down that we're going to talk about where we normally actually say the American version instead of the typical British version. It's almost okay. like a generation gap now, but uh, wow. we'll talk about that in a bit. So yeah, what is a click slash click? Can you a describe click? Um, so I would say a click is a group of people with similar yeah. interests, but it's um, like not elitist, but... <laughs> Yeah. In a way, it, it could be a leader. But usually I think of cliques, like that's what we would say in school. Like, oh, yes. that's the, those are the cheerleaders. That's their clique. The exactly. Footballers, that's their clique. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And we would use the same. So y we talk about things being cliquey. Um, so if you go to a school, for example, and you've got one clique of, I don't know, the cheerleaders. We don't really have cheerleaders. Yeah, yeah. UK, <laughs> but, I don't know, the sporty girls and then another clique with the girls who love makeup and they do their hair and they love boys and all that kind of thing. And then you've got the goth clique and the emo clique, yes. <laughs> you know, it's all these little groups of people uh, that have something in common. 
and they're normally friends I would say but <laughs> yeah they're, they're friends yeah no absolutely maybe yeah. not the best of friends but they're close <laughs> yeah <laughs> how yeah. about this one write it down here how about this one envelope you say envelope envelope we say envelope envelope yeah I, I like envelope I don't yeah it's literally on like a preposition yeah. on yeah it on is, yeah <laughs> that on on envelope <laughs> it sounds different though. but yeah um an envelope would be oh i thought i had one. Oh, i think i tidied before the live i did have an envelope on the table but no when problem. you want to send a letter you have a piece of paper with a little flap here you open it you put the letter inside you close it you put the address and you send it that's the envelope or envelope <laughs> <laughs> I feel really posh when I say it in the American way. No, really? That's so funny. I feel like you yeah. sound so much more posh. I saw some people saying they can't understand me, but I actually have a very standard American accent. Believe it or not, people, I have no accent for uh, Americans. Like, I don't have a Southern accent. I don't have a Northern accent. It's a neutral accent. I guess that's good for teaching. It, it is, <laughs> but yours too. I feel like you're very, uh, you have a very clear uh, mm. voice and accent as well. I mean, it's obviously British, which is adorable for Americans. We, I think most of <laughs> yeah. us love British accents, but you sound so posh. We think every, t every time somebody's trying to act posh in America, we try to talk like a, a British person. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. When I hear Americans trying to impersonate British accents, um, they kind of do something like from Oliver Twist, like from the 1800s or something. So it's like, oh my God, no. It's like, no one speaks that way. <laughs> But it's like this kind of, yeah, I don't know, this thing that, this stereotype that we have. So. Yeah, no, and I'm happy you're writing them and you're not saying it first because I have that tendency. I don't mean to, but I start imitating accents when I hear, if I, like, in, in Spain when I taught English, I, they had the yeah. British curriculum. I don't know why they had American teachers teaching off of a British curriculum, but the poor kids couldn't understand half the things I said. Oh my god. Like tomato. They're like tomato. Oh, tomato. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So They're correcting you. Exactly. They were all correcting me like, oh, this American doesn't speak English that well, but I understand. <laughs> it's a crazy American. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, the next one is this one here. Okay. How would you pronounce this? Um, leisure. Leisure. Wow. Leisure. leisure. And you, leisure. leisure. We don't even pronounce the R as well. Leisure. Leisure. Yeah, we don't pronounce the R either. How about this one? Mobile. 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 The stress changes and the vowel. Mobile. So, like your mobile. phone. It's a mobile phone. Yes, you have a mobile phone. But we don't ever say, I think you guys say mobile or don't you call it? Uh, mobile. We would normally say phone. Yeah, I, I mean, think we say phone. We say cell. Your cell. You Can I have your cell. cell. Yeah. yeah. In the past, like when I was young, <laughs> and like phones were just starting to come out. Like I mean, mobile phones were just starting to come out. We would distinguish and we would say uh, a, a mobile. Like, where's my mobile? Because it would distinguish from the house phone. But nowadays, many people don't have house phones. Like, I don't even have a house phone. Another word for a house phone, guys, is a landline. I don't, do you call it the same in the US? That's the same. I think my generation, okay. we just have cell phones. But um, yeah, we yeah. would say landline. Yeah, yeah. we would say landline I, in general. It's quite expensive as well, having a landline. And I mean, if yeah. you've got your, your phone, your mobile phone. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, I mean, there's no use anymore for having a landline. It's just like um, telemarketers that call or like your grandma. Yes. <laughs> yes. Literally the only people that use landlines. <laughs> Same here. So it's interesting. So there they also don't have phones. Yeah. Because here I don't like you don't. I guess there's a phone hook somewhere. My house was built in the 50s, but. Yeah, yeah, it's not used. Nobody in our generation would use that. <laughs> yeah, the same. I see that some uh, that a teachers from Dublin here. Hi, John. Um, they say phone as well. I'm guessing. Okay. Yeah, he means in Ireland. So okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, we use Hello. phone again. We don't need to distinguish anymore between landline and mobile phone. So yes, that's why. Um, another one here. Oh, I can't spell it. 
Da, 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 da. I think my hamster's also just woken up. So oh, I'm sorry. Can you hear him? <laughs> so, uh, missile. Missile. Well, you changed the vowel completely. Missile. Yeah. Missile. Missile. Uh, this is a nice one. And this is one that actually, um, so I'm in quite a few Facebook groups for like businesses and things like that. And when I mention this word, I get loads of Americans attacking me. Like, oh, you're saying it wrong. It's like this. And I have to say to them, hold on, this is hmm. the British way. <laughs> yes. And it's this word here. How would you say this? So I would say niche. Oh, you say the British way. But then again, once again, I, I sometimes I'm not sure with my English because I think that's more of a French derived word. Yeah. I so, um, so, yeah, I don't mean to. Once again, sometimes I may have more clear English because I've been teaching for a while. So, like, yeah. you know, okay. I but, know so that's, exactly what you mean. <laughs> so how would Americans normally say it? Niche. Niche. Yeah. Oh. Niche is the British way and niche would be the American way. And yeah, when I say niche, I get all these Americans like, why do you say it in a weird way? And blah, 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 blah. It's like, because I'm British. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> how about oh. this one privacy privacy yeah because i actually say it the american way um but the typical british way would be privacy but privacy privacy i would say privacy like, i need some privacy i feel really posh if i say privacy privacy <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, I need some privacy. Like, I, yeah, see, to me, it would sound very posh. I'd be like, oh, okay, like the queen. That's like the the, the queen's English, like your royalty. I need some privacy, please. Yeah, no, see, that would be <laughs> exactly. That's how I feel. But no, I I use I use the American way again. I put it down to like uh, cartoons. You know, watching American cartoons as a kid, they would have said like privacy, and I okay. probably took it from that. So. Yes, another one as well that I actually say the American way is this one. How would you say this? Schedule. We'd say schedule. So that the sound at the beginning completely changes. Schedule and schedule. But I schedule. use the American way. <laughs> oh, wow. But that could also be from cartoons. That's so crazy. I know. It's, it's such an influence, isn't it? Like yeah. you can see in the way that we talk, like... Um, I mean, even in the grammar that we use, like the grammar, uh, people watching, the grammar between British and American English differs only slightly. There are just a couple of things that's, uh, that are different. And one of the things that I hear so many Brits saying now is this. Um, oh, I'm trying to write it for people <laughs> compared to this. So people say, I have gotten, which is American, instead of I've got. Oh, and I still okay. remember talking to one uh, girl about this. And she said, oh, I've gotten... Da, 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 da. I said, I've got. And she said, no, gotten is correct. I said, if you're American. She said, no, no, gotten is just more formal. I'm like, okay, you tell the Americans that. Wow. <laughs> They'll love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so funny. No, we definitely say gotten. <laughs> Yeah. Have, have you gotten used to it yet? Like, oh, you're living in Brazil now. Have you gotten used to it yet? Exactly. It sounds so American. But yeah, quite a few people, especially younger people, are saying yeah. gotten. Wow. Gotten. Yeah. It's the power of television. <laughs> I know. Globalization. Yes, yes. <laughs> and the Kardashians. I don't know if you guys have gotten that. I'm so sorry. If uh, you've gotten yes. that. Yeah, we, we, have, uh, we have this here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> This is the gift from America. <laughs> Wait, there was something I watched. Well, because my brother lives in New Zealand. He's lived there for like 14 years. But um, I remember going there and, and here we don't get British shows. Like I can't see. I love British television because I love British yeah. humor and stuff. But we just don't. Like it's hard to find, you know, unless you're on YouTube or something. But there they had um, the Geordie Shore. Like we have the Jersey Shore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Geordie Shore. This is the the worst. The worst. This is like, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's the worst thing that you can watch <laughs> on British TV. 
It really, really is. The absolute, like, scum at the bottom of the barrel. You know, they've taken that up, scraped it off the sides, and put it on TV. <laughs> That's Geordie Shaw. I couldn't help but watch it. I was vegging out a little bit on it because I was just so fascinated. Like, what? Because the Jersey Shore was just like, people are watching this? I was shocked. And then my brother's like, no, no, no. The Geordie Shore is even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Better in what way? <laughs> well, it made, me, it made me feel better that it's not just us, you know? Because sometimes you're like, oh, my God, is my culture the only one that's... And then my brother's like, no, it's, it can be bad, too. And they're like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just as bad over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so the next one is this one. How would you pronounce this? Oh, sorry, it still hasn't come up yet. Did it come up? Okay, I'll say it in British then. So, tomato. Oh, tomato. Mm, tomato, tomato. <laughs> you say it like a duh as well. <laughs> tomato. Yeah, we don't even say the T half the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's really interesting. Same with us as well, but we pronounce the T in a different way. We kind of like completely remove it almost. We glottalize it, but... Yeah. <laughs> See, I feel like phonetically, if you read it phonetically, it makes more sense to say tomato like, yeah. than tomato. Tomato. Yeah. I don't know what we're doing with the words here. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. one happened somewhere in the past where someone was like, nah, let's just remove some, let's replace it with a da. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, because we do that all the time. It's always yeah. D. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, the next one is this one. I don't know if you can see the the word, but it's vase in British English. Vase. Vase. Uh, is, it, is that with a s or with a z at the end? Vase. Z so I guess it sounds like a z almost. Vase. 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 I don't know. It sounds like a s to me. Instead of vase. Did you say vase? Vase. We wouldn't say vase. With a s. S. Yeah. Vase. Vase. Um. Like, that's really different. Which is strange, because face, face, yeah. and then face, yeah, it's, it, it is. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what happened with that one, either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, vase, vase in British English. Uh, the next one is this one. By the way, guys, any questions you have, um, we'll answer them at the end, okay? So hold your horses, guys. We'll answer questions at the end. I don't know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh. I say it Emma's way when I want to say I'm fancy. <laughs> My God. Oh, so okay, this okay. <laughs> this word, how would you pronounce this one? Vitamin. 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 We'd say vitamin. 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 Vitamin, vitamin. I remember when my boyfriend once said vitamin and uh, I lectured him for about five <laughs> minutes solid. <laughs> And why he shouldn't say vitamin, why he should say vitamin. But did he, <laughs> so I wonder, is that because he's um, probably more attuned to American English as well then? He used to listen to, focus on the used to there, okay. Okay. He used to <laughs> listen to a lot of American music. All right. A lot of, um, like American TV shows and American series and things like that. So he probably picked it up that way. Um, okay. He's also a nurse. So he would have to learn this vocabulary, like, you know, pills, tablets, vitamins. Um, right. So that's like one of the core words he needs to know. Um, so I can imagine that he'll have, you know, picked that up from an American textbook or something like that. He'll have picked it up from somewhere, I'm sure. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where, but... <laughs> Yeah. Um, so the next one is this one. Okay, basil. Basil. That's... Basil and basil. You also basil. have another herb. Um, and it's not a herb. It's like a kind of uh, lettuce. We call it rocket. In New Zealand, they call it rocket. Yeah. But we call it arugula. I know. That's so different. <laughs> But I think arugula, aru I can't even say it. How do you say it? Arugula. 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 <laughs> so ar arugula, I'm guessing it comes from, or I don't know, because I, I think it's similar in Spanish, isn't it? 
And I'm guessing it's maybe similar in Portuguese. Which, arugula? Yeah. <sighs> so it makes me wonder if um rocket <laughs> i don't know where rocket came from <laughs> yeah right like when my brother told me that i was like what yeah i was so... <laughs> it has no, nothing to so do different. i think maybe maybe arugula sounds more the root word arugula somebody f spelled rucola a hey, so in portuguese yes. rucola rucola yeah so uh in spanish is rucola um yeah same. It, it actually has three ways. One is uh, rucula, like how, how people have spelt it here. Okay. Yeah, exactly like this. Um, so, veruscabilidi. Sorry about the pronunciation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it is in Spanish as well. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm wondering if it's come from like, um, from, uh, from Latin or something like that. And yes. I don't know what happened, but somewhere in transport, I think maybe they were transporting uh, this uh, leaf <laughs> to issue. England, and uh, they were like, oh, what do we call it again? <laughs> oh, it's just a rocket. Yeah, we brought some rocket. <laughs> <laughs> just named it some random name. But, you know, the only thing I could think of is, too, it has an intense taste. So maybe they're like, yeah. rocket. I don't know. It makes you feel like a rocket. I don't know. I was trying to think because there's really nothing. I don't have any idea where that word came from. Yeah. yeah, I was just, you know, there's one other vegetable quickly that you guys say differently. And I was like, what? And it sounds like it comes from French, but we say eggplant. Uh, yeah, eggplant. We say aubergine. Aubergine. What in the world? I saw that and I had no clue what that was. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, you yeah. You also have zucchini. Yes. And we have courgette. What in the world? That sounds French. I know. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, courgette. zucchini. I'm trying to remember how... I don't actually know how you spell zucchini because it's not a, an English word. I mean, it's not one that we use in the UK. Zucchini. Ah, there it is. Oh, it's Oops. I think it's Italian. Oh, that's what I think as well. I, I think it's Italian. I got there as well. Goodness me. What happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you spelled it perfect. So zucchini yeah, yeah. in American English. Zucchini, zucchini in German as well. Oh, in German. Oh, I bet uh, you it did yeah, come from it's... Italy. That seems Italian. Mm, courgette. Wow. I'm writing it down. I spelled it wrong. Courgette. Courgette, yeah. I spelled it in American I phonetics. I could have spelled zucchini because of courgette. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was like, what the hell? Okay, I got it. <laughs> um, so the next one we have, we may have to like fly through these guys just so we have uh, time for questions at the end. But how would you say this one? Evolution. Hmm. Evolution. Is that the same way in British? Yes. You don't say it another way? Evolution. Evolution. No. I thought I... you... Ah, no, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. I just realized I say it the American way. <laughs> so you say evolution, and we say evolution. Apparently. Evolution. Oh, okay. But I thought it was the other way around. But no. Ah, no, hold on. No, it is recognized as two different ways to pronounce it here in the UK. Oh, right. Okay. We have evolution and evolution. So we evolution. have the american way as well okay oh. good i am british <laughs> i was like no not another one i say the american way <laughs> guys if you have any questions or requests we will answer them at the end of the live okay so we just want to get through the list that we have here and then we'll go through your requests as well at the end for like the final five ten minutes how would you pronounce this one so herb herb you just herb. completely cut the h I love yeah that. there's no h in there <laughs> So we would say the H, but we won't. Uh, we wouldn't pronounce the R. So we would say herb, herb, herb. Exactly. Herb. Yeah. I feel so harsh when I say herb. <laughs> I'm getting herbs from the garden. I don't know. <laughs> That's probably one of those 18th century sounding Americans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You are offending a lot of Brits. Right now. <laughs> oh no, I love it. I never mean to offend. I really love the accent. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm probably offending so many Americans right now. I'm like terrible American app. <laughs> um, okay, how about this one? Pasta. Pasta. We would say uh, pasta. 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 
Yeah. That sounds like a Bostonian accent. Somebody from Boston, maybe pasta. 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 Is that the one where they pasta. say like coffee? Is it that they say normal? coffee? They say uh, pack the car, like park the car, I, pack exactly, the car. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I I remember. I can't remember what I was watching. It was a TV series where they were kind of mocking this accent. And I loved it. I love the sound of it. It's used yeah. a lot in like gangster movies, like old yes. gangster movies, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I've got another one here. I think we've got about six or seven left. Okay. How about this one? Um, patronize. Patronize. Pa pa no, patronize and patronize. Now this one is a really different one. How would you pronounce this? boy you use the british way let's see once again i don't know if who how would an american say it i'm gonna double check yes you definitely say it this way in american english um we have buoy buoy okay buoy. yeah and i remember i was talking to another teacher um, who's American, she's also on Instagram, and she says buoy. And it was the first time I'd ever heard buoy in my life. And I was like, are you sure you're pronouncing that <laughs> word correctly? <laughs> like checking in the dictionary, making sure she was correct. So it was buoy. So we normally say buoy. Uh, so apparently, according to the dictionary. Okay. Yeah. Buoy. It says here, let me have a look. Ah, uh, it has here... Okay, so the British, it just has one. It says boy, uh, which is exactly the same as boy as in girl and boy for people All right. watching. Um, and American English, it has two. It has buoy listed as the first one and boy as the second one. All right, okay. So, yes, you are American. Yeah. <laughs> You're still American. Uh, this one's really different. How about this one? Uh, route. Root. Root. Route and route. Yes. And you know, because we have Route 66, which is like a really famous road trip to drive from Chicago to Los Angeles. But yeah, yeah even in the music, they say, get your kicks on Route or Route 66. Yeah, but you say route. route. Oh, wow. We say route. But we normally say route. But that was an old song. Yeah. I don't really know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what song it is. Oh, you don't? Oh, it's a really famous, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you later. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to, because I have no idea what this, fit. I'm sure that if I hear it, I might know it, but yeah, I don't know yeah. it right now. <laughs> wow, route. Yeah, we always say route. It could be both, though, but at least, mm. yeah, if I just was reading it, I would automatically say route. Like, which, which route should we take? Yeah, we'd say which route. Okay. Which route, yeah. Um, it's the same with, um, you know, in your home, you have the kind of box that supplies the internet in the house. How would you call that? Um, uh, what, if my husband was around somewhere, I think, uh, the, <laughs> gosh, I think we call it the cable box. A cable box? Because we'd call it a router. Oh, we call it the router. Yeah, exactly. You call it router. <laughs> Sorry, router. yeah, the router, router. Yeah, it's the router. <laughs> Which sounds like a D. It doesn't sound like a T's in there. No. Yeah. Router. 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 Yeah. This is really interesting is this uh, kind of duh sound. For people uh, watching, if you're interested in this sound, we call it in phonetics a tap or flap. And it's not quite a duh. It's like a very, very soft and very quick duh. Okay. It's not quite duh. It's not like when you say city, you say city, you know. It's a very, very quick sound. Um... I'm not 100% sure about Portuguese speakers, but I know in Spanish you have something similar to a tap or flap. So if you say a word like pero, as in but, um, it's that very, very quick r, you know, that kind of uh, r sound. Pero is really, really quick. It's the same. Oh, it's very similar, I should say. It's not quite the same, but it's very, very similar. <laughs> um, how about this one? Yes. Version. Mm -hmm. And we'd say version. So we wouldn't pronounce Ver the R. Oh, okay. Version. This is another one just to demonstrate that R sound. How would you say this one? Vendor. Vendor. Yeah, vendor. it's so strong, isn't it? We would say vendor. So we wouldn't pronounce that R. Vendor. Um, 
I love how Americans say this word. Oh my god, it's my favorite word for Americans to say. <laughs> yogurt. Ah! <laughs> yogurt. I think it is just brilliant. I, I love remember your accent being... when you try to say American accent. It's so great. <laughs> <laughs> Yogurt is so funny. It's just such a great word to say. I would put it as like one of my top words, like my top favorite words. Oh. <laughs> I do actually have a favorite word that I like, just the sound of. Um, and yeah, I think yogurt, so an American accent, like really strong American accent, yeah, would be second place. <laughs> That's awesome. I've never heard that before. I didn't even know we said it so differently. What do yeah, you guys we say? We say yogurt. Yogurt. Yog. Yogurt. 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 Exactly. It's even harder for me to say it. <laughs> yeah. So think of like yogurt. Yog. Yog. It. Exactly. Yogurt. That's it. Yogurt. Ah, the American. Take <laughs> one more time. Yogurt. <laughs> I want it with my ringtone. <laughs> Only, only an English teacher. <laughs> We're a linguist, you know. <laughs> I love it, honestly. Some people think that I'm like, um, you know, kind of uh, mocking them sometimes. Like, no, no, no. Like, I genuinely do like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand. <laughs> Which is really sad. Um, but anyway, and the last one we have on the list is this one. How would you say this one? Zebra. Zebra. So that crossing, the white and black crossing where you where you go across the road, would you call that a zebra crossing? Um or that be, we that just be say else? we say a crosswalk. A crosswalk? Oh, we don't have yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you said crosswalk, I wouldn't know what that meant. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the crosswalk. Like you have to stop at the crosswalk. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like it's uh, mandatory for cars to actually stop, and then you can walk. There are no lights. But know? I've never thought twice about that ever. But zebra crossing makes more sense. Yeah, because it's like a zebra. We yeah, yeah, zebra, <laughs> zebra, <Yeah>. zebra crossing. <laughs> zebra crossing. I think little I kids it. would like that here if we called it that. Yeah, <laughs> and like in Spanish as well, they call it like um. Uh, a, ze a zebra passing <laughs> I don't know how to quite oh, do like, oh, okay interesting. Way. <laughs> yeah yeah very it's cool very cool <laughs> so we don't have much time to go through the other things I don't think but yes do you like do you want to talk a little bit about uh anything in particular from the list of things that we had or would you like oh. to skip to question time what do you think um we can skip to question time because there's also we could do another you know, there's we so can many do cool a words. Too, there's, so, there's so many <laughs> cultural differences in words. Yeah, it's, right. yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we could go straight to questions. So, guys, this is now your time. All the questions you've been asking during the live, now is the time. If you'd like to ask us any questions about pronunciation or English, about America, about Canada, or whatever, uh, we are here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or if you'd like us to pronounce something for you. We are here waiting. Watch it go silent now. They'll be like, I know, I know. I feel so bad. I was trying to catch, but. Oh. <laughs> so, El Escribidor has said, uh, How do you pronounce Peter? Peter. Peter. So, you use that that tap again, Peter. 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 Yeah. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Our D sound. <laughs> exactly. What is real football? So football in the UK is the game um, where you have the ball on the ground and you kick it with your feet. But what is football in America? A in football America? is like the who is Tom Brady. Like when we say football, we're thinking of American football. So, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. And if you say football, maybe because, you know, we have a very large, like it's an ever-growing Hispanic population in the U.S. So Spanish is like quickly becoming more used it all over the United States, no matter where you go. But um, they may know what you're talking about, football. But we say soccer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I see. So you still differentiate between, like, American – because we would say American football. Just we we just say football. I was just distinguishing for him. Yeah, yeah. We still just say football. I see. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> so and if you, you did, if you were trying to say football, like, maybe somebody would think you're trying to be snobby. 
Like, uh, oh, you went to okay. Europe once. You went to Europe once, and now you say football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we've all met someone like that. <laughs> yes, yes. I know many. <laughs> um, so that's that one. What other questions did we have? How do you pronounce fee proposal? It's a very odd request, but fee proposal, I would say. The, the proposal. Proposal. It says fee. Fee proposal. Fee proposal. Okay. Very specific. Yeah, fee <laughs> proposal. Yeah, same. Um, another one is fragile. 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 So there's a difference there, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, Ranji asks, is it good to fake an accent? <laughs> We just did. <laughs> we tried. I think, you know what? I think if I try to fake a British accent, it almost sounds as if I'm a foreigner, as if I'm not. A na na I sound like a non-native English speaker when I try to fake a British <laughs> accent, right? So I think it just sounds funny if you try to fake an accent. Like when, when, yeah. Emma, when, you're, when Emma's talking, like trying to fake an American accent, um, it sounds cute, but it definitely sounds <laughs> Fake, like I wouldn't say, oh, that's a native English yeah. speaker right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to watch some more American cartoons. Like yeah. <laughs> um, someone's asked about choir. Um, we'd say uh, choir. Choir. So you would just pronounce the R. It's the only thing that's different. Yes. Um, someone here has got one word that I just need to double check. Um how we would say it in British English to make sure I've got the right one. Yeah. Okay. There are actually two ways in British English. Um, I would say laboratory. Uh, laboratory. Are you talking about laboratory? Yeah. You would say <laughs> laboratory. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we would say a laboratory. The place laboratory. where you do experiments and things. Yeah. Um, earth. 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 Via. Which is it? Uh, Faraz has asked about Earth and Via. So I'm going to go to London via Manchester. Oh, Via. Exactly. See, I didn't even know what you were saying. <laughs> she didn't even understand me, guys. I just, my mind was like, I thought it was like vial, like a vial that you keep something in. No, <laughs> no Via. Yeah, we say Via. Yeah. I know. Um... Okay, someone's asked about drawers, as in, like, where you put your clothes. You have um, drawers. Yeah, drawers. Drawers. Draw oh, you say, like, a rat in there. Drawers. 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 Um, any other words? How do you say inter... What? That's not even a word. I'm sorry, uh, Jose. You've written intrapreneur. I think you mean entrepreneur? Entrepreneur. Yeah. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur and entrepreneur. You say it more French like. Well, it is yeah. a French word, but you say very. Did you study French? No, no, it's just okay. how oh. we say it. Oh, you, you just sound more bougie, bourgeois over there. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be a little bit posher. I guess because yeah. we're closer to France. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That makes a difference. Um, okay. Any other requests or questions? Some people are asking questions about like TV series and things like that. We mm. honestly, guys, don't have the time to go through that, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but we can talk about that in another live. It's no problem. Is it okay to pronounce some words in a British way and an American way? From my point of view, why not? Yeah. No one's going to cry about it. And if they do, tell them to jog on. <laughs> <laughs> jog on. I've never heard that expression, jog on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We use it a lot in the UK. Jog on. I'm writing that one down. I like it. I may, I may, I may rob that one. I want you to use it in a sentence. <laughs> I want you to, to send me a text. <laughs> I will correct you. Yes. Yeah. So, guys listening, uh, jog is like when you go for a gentle run, okay? And when you say to someone, jog on, it's like, go away. <laughs> jog on, go away. That is so British. So British. <laughs> so awesomely British. <laughs> jog on. Um, what else? Can you say this verb, escape? We would say it the same way. I'm escape, sure. yeah. Escape. Um, yeah, we've already done the word choir. So I would say choir, and you would say... Choir. Yeah. 
Someone's asked about traverse. I don't even know what that means. But <laughs> traverse. Traverse. Are they thinking traverse? I think they're thinking of to cross, traverse. I don't know. There's a Travis and Traverse. There are two ways to pronounce it. Okay. Yeah. Like to, to travel across something. Yes. Traverse. Um, we don't, so, and it's not common. You wouldn't hear that in everyday American English. We would say cross. Yeah, exactly. We would I, never, I didn't even know what it meant. Yeah, well, I do know, <laughs> well, because when we were, um, I went to visit my friend's uh, little sister when she was studying abroad in Barcelona. And, you know, there's so many British around Barcelona. Yeah. <laughs> but we were okay. laughing so hard because we're like, wow, the Brits have such a vast vocabulary. Like, you use so many more <laughs> words on a daily basis. And and Americans make no exceptions. <laughs> well, like when we were saying, for example, we were riding down on a bicycle down a hill, and she goes, mm -hmm. "Oh, let's just go and meander around a bit." Like meander, they were British. And we were like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like, wow, Brits sound so much. educated. We would just say, "Hey, let's go take a look at what's over there." <laughs> yeah. No, because I find that like depending on where you're from in in England, yeah, like particularly England, not just the UK, but just England, uh, there are so many different ways to say certain things. Like, um, like you said, let's. Uh, what would you say? Like, take a look. Yeah. In the north, where I'm from, uh, we would say like take a gander. Wow. Um, <laughs> in, like uh, our accent, we would say take a gander. Oh, let's go over and take a gander. Okay. And it's like, let's go over and have a look. <laughs> wow. So different. So different. It, yeah. Like, we hardly understand each other just in England. So can you imagine yes. like, communicating with people outside? Wow. Wow. Fascinating. Um, someone said, can you comment on can't be asked? Do Americans use a similar phrase? So do you same thing? Can't be asked? Like, I can't be bothered? We would not say I can't be asked. I would be like, oh, that's foreign that person's foreign yeah <laughs> um, what would you say instead do you have like an american equivalent oh i just say well maybe i can't be bothered i can't be bothered with that but we can't mm -hmm. be like i can't be yeah the other the, yeah. the other way sounded very yeah maybe british or yeah. foreign yeah <laughs> mm, yeah i would say we can't be asked or if you wanted to be a bit polite i can't be bothered or i don't want to do that <laughs> yeah that's, that's more um, polite yeah. <laughs> Someone's asked about the difference between dessert and desert. So dessert is in the thing you eat and desert is in the dry land. How would you pronounce those two? With a harsher R. We'd say desert mm. and dessert. Yeah. Yeah. See all the difference there. Um, someone's asked about either, either, neither and neither. In the UK, we would use all four of those. Is it the same in the US? Either... Yeah, we would say all four, either, either, neither, neither, yeah. neither one, neither. I think it, it just, depends on the context. Yeah, I think it just depends on what comes into my head first, yeah. if I'm honest. I don't even think about it. I just say. <laughs> but I feel like neither does sound a little more British for some reason. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's because you just said it in your accent or not, but I feel like neither, either. Neither. Neither, neither. Either, neither, neither, either. Oh, I use all four. I don't know. I use and all I four as well. I have in the dictionary as well to see if one, like, is American or maybe one was, like, from the north of England or from the south or whatever, and there's nothing that says anything about, like, any geographical differences. <laughs> it's just, like, a personal choice. Yeah. Someone's asked about water. 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 <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's so funny. Wow. Um, someone's asked about archive. Um, that's similar. Archives. Yeah, archive. You yeah, just put out same. Um, okay, I think we've only got time for like about five more. We'll do five more requests because otherwise Instagram's going to cut the Yeah, line. yes. And you're in a much, uh, it's much later for you as well. <laughs> it's nearly 10 p.m. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Pretty tired. <laughs> Um, let me see any others. Okay, elevator and lift. Which one is the American one? Elevator. Yeah, <laughs> lift in the UK. Um, what else? <laughs> yes, someone's just say, just say Yorkshire. I love it. <laughs> Yorkshire, Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Use the York, York, Yorkshire, Yorkshire. Yeah, York, <laughs> Yorkshire. <laughs> 
Shire. What is this Shire? <laughs> well, like, you know, The Hobbit. Shire. Like in The Hobbit, The Shire. I know. That's true. We don't say the sha. <laughs> what about the word butter? Butter. Yeah, we would say butter or butter. It depends where you're from. Oh wow! How lazy you were. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said chores. Chores. Good. Um, and the last one, I may have missed some, so I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the last one. Ooh, the comments are all mixed up. Da, da, da. For some reason, it's like repeating the comments. Yes, yeah, mine did the really same weird. thing. Really weird. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find the final one, and <laughs> and it's gone. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, I'm just gonna have to skip all the way to the bottom, guys, um, and take one of the ones from the bottom. Okay, so the last one is maths. Max, Max, like the name Max. Maths, as in mathematics. Oh. <laughs> say math. math. We say math. We don't say maths. Math <laughs> sounds what? so international. <laughs> yeah. I love it that you like reduce it to the singular form. Like just one, <laughs> just one math. I, I know. I don't know. But yeah, even whenever you're taking classes in school, they say just math. Yeah, Which math? True. Oh, algebra or you know trigonometry. Oh. They don't just yeah. <laughs> math class. I, I remember um I remember talking to this Chinese guy and he had like quite a strong American accent but a little bit of Chinese kind of dotted in there. And I remember saying to him, like, what are you interested in? And he said, Math. But I thought he said meth <laughs> as in like the drug. And I was like, What? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's like, you know. Like maths, like mathematics. I'm like, oh my goodness! I thought you said math. I thought you were like addicted to crystal math. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh my god, no. I can totally understand though. It's like when you said vi via or via. When you said yeah. via earlier, I was like via. And then you had it in your accent. You just just say via, but you said via with the British accent. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I think we'll probably have to finish because the uh, Instagram will probably cut us soon. Yes, so, yes. So, yes, thank you very much for inviting me on this yeah. live. And we'll have to do another one because we've still got loads to talk about. So many questions. Of questions so. Yeah. And Sorry, you're authentic. Guys. You're an authentic British. <laughs> <laughs> you're authentically. You're not like just one that's lived in the States a long time. So it's kind of cool. No. You know, it's more like to the roots, the real thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Cool. No, thank you. I've enjoyed this live. I've learned quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Me too. Oh my gosh, so much. Right when I think I understand, no, there's still, there's always something new to learn. Yeah. <laughs> and that just shows something, guys, you know, who are watching now that we are learning right now about each other's languages, let's call it. Yes. <laughs> each yes. other's varieties. So yes, you can learn so much too. I'm really sorry if we didn't get to... <laughs> Don't vote <try. Yeah. laughs> Um, I'm really sorry if we didn't get to your questions. We will do another live in the future. And yeah, that's all I can say. So yes. thank you very much. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. And I I hope my viewers enjoyed. And I'm going to also post uh, your stuff later as well on my feed for your uh, Academia oh, Caipirinha. Academia Caipirinha. Yes, that's it. Okay. Para meus alunos que falam português, né? Então, thank you so much. Ciao, guys. Ciao.